you know, friends, it's almost like the Bruin decision never even happened if you look at states like New York, California, and some of the other ones out there. These people are continuing to do everything that they want to do the way they want to do it and the way they always have in many cases. In fact, some of them have actually put out stricter requirements in order to be able to carry a firearm in public or wherever. The state of New York is absolutely leading that charge with their whole good moral character requirement. Their governor, Kathy Hochul, came out recently and said, I've called upon and am working closely with our attorney general to identify what's going on in social media. And those questions are now part of our background checks. Just like in the old days, you could talk to someone's neighbor. Now you can talk to their neighbors online to find whether or not this person has been espousing philosophies that indicate they have been radicalized. Now let's not forget the militia violent extremism memo that came out from the FBI. You think these are coincidences that stuff like this comes out and then you have a governor of a populous state like New York come out and actually wonder if some of their people have been radicalized whenever they are on the verge of being able to constitutionally finally carry a firearm in a state that has kept them from doing this constitutionally for so many years, hundred and something years for that matter. You talk about a slippery slope whenever we start looking at somebody, some people who are politically driven and politically motivated to determine whether or not somebody has the right frame of mind, the right thinking, the right approach to everything from political to family to everything like that. We know all the things that the FBI put out on their little fake list to make those of us look bad, everything from the Betsy Ross flag to a Punisher skull uh, to any of the lame things out there. If you mention Ruby Ridge or Waco, you're some kind of an extremist um, just a number of stupid things out there that just because they don't align themselves with that, they automatically assume, well, if they don't think like me, all those other people must be crazy. When you generalize that broadly, that shows how shallow of a thinker you are and how stupid you are. Because even I know that people who do not agree with me politically, ideologically, or whichever, are not all bad people. I think they're wrong, but I don't think that they're inherently bad people. In other words, if I were in any kind of position of authority, I wouldn't keep those people from having or possessing or carrying a firearm just because I didn't agree with them politically. But let's not forget that the list of things that we are allowing these people to subjectively all of a sudden paint us all with a broad brush with, it could be anything from if you support Trump, if you support libertarians. Let's remember Rand Paul, who is kind of a libertarian-leaning person, even though he's a Republican. The guy has very libertarian views like his dad did. So if you support Rand Paul's views against Fauci, you could be looked at as an extremist. And certainly our government would look at anything you say about vaccines, um, any kind of stupid advice like uh, the ineffective masks and all, all that other stuff that has been proven wrong. If you're pro-life, if you're Christian, if you're white, if you don't support the Ukraine uh, cash dump that we're doing over there and all the money that we're sending over there and all the ammo and all the uh, weapons and munitions that we're sending over there. If you're pro-gun, if you support smaller government, if you don't support all government. Let's remember the gatekeepers here who are the ones who are supposedly going to keep people from possessing, carrying a firearm. That's the government, right? Which it shouldn't be, but that's the government. So it doesn't matter what political party it is. If you support smaller government, you're going to upset them because they want big government. Every party does. It's more money to them. It's more of a slush fund. It's more money they can blow. It's more money that they can pay off people with. Um, it's, it's all the things that we don't like, they like, regardless of the, the political party system. So if you're just pro-small government, you run the risk of being labeled as anti-government just because you support them being smaller. So you could go on that list also, and now your moral character is not so good, according to them. Nope, you cannot carry a firearm. Folks, there is a really strange undercurrent of an awakening in this country, and I'm not confusing awakening with being woke. Two totally separate things. I am seeing an awakening of people who are getting bolder and braver, finally, in support of their own rights and everybody else's rights, for that matter. I see people who finally realize that it's okay to question the government because it's absolutely okay to question the government. And in fact, I think it is yours and my duty 
to question the government because the government gets away with too much. And now the government, they're scared. That's the only reason why they would put out lists like this because they're scared because they have kept everybody under this really weird false pretense that you can't question the government for so long. And they've been successful at that. And now that they see, see people questioning the government and saying, wait a minute, you need to explain that to me because that doesn't sound right. Or you need to explain that to me because that's not right. And they're not used to that pushback. They've never had this and now they're getting it. And it's a beautiful thing because I see people finally waking up and saying, hold up, I kind of know my rights. And that's the key to it all learning what your rights are. It doesn't matter what badge anybody has of any kind of organization, state, local, federal, doesn't matter. You have the right to question those people just like they're questioning you. You have the right to push back all you need to, all you want to, all you see fit to. Push back, ask questions, and question that weird little assumed authority that they all have. I'm sorry, I thought this was America.